It's the second big week of Scream Queens month on Drive-In Theater, and you know, the crew still hadn't recovered from Linnea Quigley being here last week. When she left that night, they were saying these incredibly witty things to her, like, do you have a car? And, uh, I loved you in Vice Academy, too. You know, you, know, you guys are pitiful with this stuff. <laughs> Anyhow, my guest tonight, and I have to admit, I have a weakness myself for this woman. She has the most evil, dark eyes. You look at those eyes, and you just want to say, okay kill me go ahead i'll enjoy it i first saw her in a movie called slave girls from beyond infinity and she was the best thing about that movie and i recently saw that jesse helms considers that movie one of the best arguments for censorship in america he hates that movie makes me love it even more we'll ask her about it come on out here brink Brink Stevens, our scream queen for the evening. You didn't tell Welcome, me Brink. This place was so hard to find. <laughs> well, Hi. we expected you to be wearing clothing, so have a seat. <laughs> no, really, good to see you. That concludes the community theater part of our program. All right, Brink, you look stunning as usual. Well, thank you. It's great to have you here. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. I've watched your show, and I just can't believe I'm actually here. This is it. This is all that happens here. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I can go home now. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta now, get the axe again. <laughs> tell me, what about Jesse Helms? Uh, uh, to get that worked up, he must, I think Jesse Helms must have the hots for you, don't you think? Well, I don't know. Apparently what happened, this woman and her son, in the privacy of their own home, were flipping through the channels on the television, and they happened to come on Slumber Party, I mean, uh, Slave Girl. Slave Girl. 